Here with Mount St. Mary's women's basketball head coach Brian Witten. On Saturday, the Mount faces Binghamton at home at Not Arena. Game time is 3 p.m. Coach, you guys face Binghamton. It's a big international battle because we got players from Ireland, Estonia, Canada, and also the United States as well as they do as well. Um, is this a big battle, you know, a big country battle? Or what do you think of this battle? I don't think it's a country battle. It's just, you know, a regular America East versus NEC battle. I mean, it's going to be a good game. Um, you know, they uh, all five of their starters average, you know, 10 or more a game. Um, they all play a lot of minutes. So if we can, you know, limit their effectiveness, uh, if we can do a good job on the boards and uh, make some shots, again, you know, we've been saying it all year, but that's, you know, that's what we need to do to be successful. Successful. And uh, like I said, the, the Estonian battle is basically you got Sandra Andreessen and a girl from Binghamton, they're best friends. Does that help or hurt us when scouting them? Um, I don't think it helps or hurts, to be honest with you. I mean, they are best friends. Viva's been down here a couple times. Um, they play on the Estonian national team together, so they have a great relationship. Um, you know, I don't think either one's given uh, the other team, you know, an advantage or telling any secrets. Uh, I think they know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and, you know, Sandra may tell her teammates, you know, this or that about Viv and, and probably the same thing up there, but I don't think it's a big, you know, uh, a big advantage either way. And so what, what are the keys to getting a win tomorrow? Um, well, you know, we've had a week off, so, you know, we've got to overcome the rustiness of, of not playing um, every day or not playing this week. You know, mentally they've been fatigued with studying for finals, so that's going to be important. We have a conference game on Monday, so I hope that's not weighing on their minds. It should not be. Uh, but for this game, as, as for all of them, we have to rebound the ball. Uh, we have to make shots. We've done a great job really not turning the ball over. We've done a decent job with that this year. Uh, we just have to make some shots and pick up our defensive intensity. We gave up way too many points against Loyola. As you said, we got a conference game on Monday at Sacred Heart. It opens conference play. How do you guys view that conference slate? Is it like a is it like a new season to you guys? How do you look at it? Well, conference. I mean, we want to win every game. Don't get me wrong. You know, conference, non-conference, what have you. But you know, conference is what matters. Um, you know, our conference isn't going to nat get an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. To get to the NCAA tournament, which I think is everyone's ultimate goal, you have to win your conference. So. Uh, conference season starting up, that is, I think, the main portion of our season. So uh, where we've been working hard and trying to win every game, the games that really, really matter start on Monday. And Monday, you go to the Pitt Center. Pitt Center has been a very tough place for us, for the Mount to play in years past. We have never won there. Does that make the game a whole bit different because of that uh, demon of not winning there? Again, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that, that weighs on our kids' minds at all, you know, having, having never won in that gym. It's just about going out and playing the best we can and, and, and doing what we can do to be successful. Um, you know, whether we won at a court or not, you know, there's always that first time and, and you know, you always want to try to win every game. So going up there, um, playing a very, very good Sacred Heart team who's already beaten Auburn this year, um, and are coming off a, a dismantling of Siena. Um, we need to do, you know, the exact same things we talked about uh, for the Binghamton game. We got to need to make shots and rebound the ball and, and uh, you know, be effective on the defensive end because they are a very potent offensive team up there at Sacred Heart. All right, Coach, good luck tomorrow against Pennington on Monday at Sacred Heart. Thanks, Dave.